welcome, welcome, welcome to the Tat Biz Shea Show. Thank you so much for tuning in to another one of our shows. Yes, we are back. We are back. I know you saw that thumbnail. I know, I know you saw it. And I know you're like, Ted Biz, you talking about this again? Yes. Yes, I am. And the reason why, oh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Get that bell notification uh, on. Make sure it's clicked. Yes, yes, I am talking about this. Because if you watch any of my videos, especially the one talking about what you see on your screen that I have scrolling, I went down the uh, a, a YouTube news channel. You know, everybody, you know, all the news people have, you know, a YouTube channel now. They got a community session. The community wall was, you know, promoting this GoFundMe and trying to, um, you know, tell the story of what happened to Toby. Um, name is Christian uh, with a uh, Nigerian last name, African last name. I'm not even going to try to butcher it. The, uh, uh, the, uh, the black man who divested early to his white woman. And in those comments, as I went over, the black women in them comments wasn't having none of it. They was having none of it. And I believe I said in that video and a recent one, pleading with the black woman, please don't go over to that GoFundMe, you know, uh, 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 donating your two to three dollars uh, to talk your shit. Yep, that's what I said. I was I was pleading. I was begging. Please do not go over to that GoFundMe and, and, and spend your two to five dollars just so you can talk your shit. Because you was giving zero fucks on every other platform. So, you know, I was trying to spare at least, you know, some of the family. At least some. Okay. As I was uh, minding my own business, um, you know, on the social medias, I was like, oh, maybe, obviously, somebody must have slid those uh, tweets up under the um, um, the family's nose. Cause you know, <laughs> I know somebody up in there said, uh, this is the why that uh, social media, mostly black women is dragging your divested son, okay? This is why the black women don't give a damn about your tears, unfortunately, because of the bullshit that um, their brother, son, uncle, whatever, whatever said. Okay. And how do we know this is because the spokesperson of the family put this long ass which we're going to be go going over a uh, message out it was a plea it was a plea to the black woman to let this one slide it was a long ass message that you already know uh the black woman gave zero fucks let's go on ahead and uh swing on over chill to uh the shade room the shade room posted it as of what was said and i'm going to read it for you okay because it is quite telling it is quite telling that somebody uh pulled them coattails of that family that says uh you on your own okay here we go <clears throat> christian's brother said quote we cannot do this without community end of quote in statement addressing christian's previous tweet about black people and women we only cared about you know the black women i did not see christian saying any anything derogatory regarding black men so they can go ahead and gaslight all you want we talking about the black women okay here we go as a family we strongly disagree with the ignorant and repulsive tweets from our then high school age brother that have recently surfaced. Okay, already right there, there's gaslighting. There's trying to diminish what was said in the tweets and try to do what a lot of black people do and just people in general. They try to put it on their age 
as of, oh, you know, he was young and dumb. Unfortunately, um, his young and dumb actually carried him on through his adult age, about 27 or 28. Okay. So no, he grew into exactly who those tweets said he was. Excuse me. I am yawning. I guess I do not care. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. As we went ahead and crushed those dreams of thinking that him inserting the age was going to really do something. Okay. However, comma, the tweets do not diminish our demand for a thorough investigation into to Toby's murder or negate the necessity for justice. Oh, okay. It's been a week since my brother was brutally and sensely killed. Courtney Taylor put her last name all up in there. Callous actions have not been met with an ounce of remorse. I would not have remorse either if, if somebody was uh, attacking me or I was in fear for my life. Why would I be remorseful if I was protecting my life? Does that, yeah, okay, moving on. We've seen videos of Courtney kissing her dolls. We've already been over that, folks. While covered in what we believe to be co to, to be my brother's blood. Yes, it, it was. And casually getting drinks at a hotel bar later while my brother lays in a morgue. Well, I mean, she got to calm her nerves, don't you think? I mean, she was in a, maybe a hand-to-hand -hand combat and won. There's no telling. There was trauma there. I would have a drink too. I need to stop. Okay. Okay. The bottom line is clear. Courtney is being treated differently because of her privilege as a wealthy white woman. I'm guessing the OnlyFans does pay well for he to call her a wealthy white woman. Even though supposedly he's supposed to be the high value with, with all the money, right? Okay. Within 24 hours following Toby's death, the detective on the case prematurely concluded that this was not a crime of violence, but the information provided is deficit and the lack of transparency strongly suggests foul play is involved. Courtney acknowledges that Toby did not have a weapon. As far as I know, she, I mean, she may not have known this or may have not completed the statement, your hands is a weapon. You can choke somebody, you can punch somebody in the face. No, he did not have a hammer or a bat, but he had his hands. Okay, moving on. She has no injuries to support her story of intimate danger. How does he know that? Okay, additionally, Courtney still has yet to explain exactly what happened leading up to Kobe's, uh, to Toby's murder. We have every reason to believe that his death was a result of unwarranted and unprovoked si uh, excuse me, violence. Uh, baby, a floored and slip, as I'm about to say, silence, because you know I always said a dead man can tell no tale, so oops. We want to see that justice is served, okay, with family. We may not agree with every action or statement made, but it is my duty to zealously fight for my brother. No family should have to go through what we are experiencing. We have a long battle ahead of us to ensure justice is served. We need your support. My family needs your support. We cannot do this without community. God bless to you all, Jeffrey. Hashtag justice for Christian, hashtag Justice for Christian Toby. Ciao. Um, and here's the thing. The shave room is messy. And the reason why the shave room is messy, because right behind that long, tearful plea, uh, they put those text messages, at least those, excuse me, those tweets, right behind it, girl, boy, and they. Yeah, right behind it. As we are uh, going over, can't believe hashtag OOMF thinks I talk to black girls when I don't. OOMF, I'm not sure what that is, so I'm just going to say that I'm pretty sure. Okay, black girls are born knowing how to shake they ass. Me, honestly, I don't care. They not my type. Okay, that's great. 
the way black girls disgrace themselves on TV. Black girls aren't the only ones who can cook in the world. Once again, I'm tired of these black girls in government class, in my government class. Martin's show is just funny. Gina be hating so much with her loud black self. Can't believe hashtag OOMF thinks I talk to black girls when I don't. I think we saw this before, okay? The thirst of black people in college. Okay, I guess that that's that one black people that they were talking about. Let's pull it back. Let's pull it back. Um, oh, hold on a minute. I went too far. Chad, uh-uh, no, no, no. We, yeah, we don't, we're not trying to see no drunk ass Megan uh, the Stallion. Okay, let's go back here. Cause I was going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Am I bored with this? Uh, I don't know. I don't be rude. So I think we counted up six to one. So far, six to one. Okay, okay, here, here, here we go, another one. As of people, no, these, these are about the uh, the black girls. Okay, then he uh, tasked somebody, I love white people. Ooh, wait, ho, wait, ho. Really? I love white people. She it, me too girl. Hmm. So does that mean he needs to be going to the white people community to get his justice? Does it mean that the family is barking up the wrong tree? Then I'm guessing these must be white women who, who he is tagging. Um, white titties are greater than black titties. Just saying, ha ha. Oh, okay. Um, dang, all the characters I want to be Halloween were always white. Ah, change me. What? Okay. It's funny when my buzz think I get offended when they say I, when, when I say a, I black joke, a black joke, probably the last person to care about that nonsense. Okay. When I get offended, when they say a black joke. Okay. So I'm guessing that this black man is allowing white people to say derogatory jokes regarding black people. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, Jeffrey, Toby's brother, why are you coming talking to us? Us meaning the black community. Why are you not over there pleading with the white community? Because, uh, this ain't it. Okay. And then there is the situation in that, um, yeah, hotel room that, uh, not hotel room, but at the bar that I was telling you guys about. Yeah, I was telling you about that. Um, we've already went over it. I already told that black woman that she really needs to sit down. This is none of her concern. And there we have it with that. So, what y'all think about it? Do you feel that um, Jeffrey's family is really, uh, excuse me, Toby's family is uh is, is officially uh laying on daddy a dead not dead oh gosh see who i think i may need to go lay down do you feel that their pleas are uh being fallen on deaf ears there we go Whew. and i'm not a rude person at at all i mean i'm not affected by this whole stabbing situation in my opinion I, in my opinion i feel that this was a battered woman as what has been trickling out regarding the well, week before there were some break-ins that he that he was doing looks like that she put him out he was he was trying to get back into the apartment uh when your name is not on on the lease uh you uh breaking in okay let's be clear then there was another story i heard there was seven 911 calls from that residency regarding those two yeah, so there has been a history. There looks like to be some receipts regarding a buildup to domestic violence, okay? So that's why, you know, uh, due to the, you know, every 5.5 hours a black woman is being murdered, I'm going to leave this one, um, you know, up in the air, especially as we know the pathology of the black man when they are rejected. 
So if they cut up when they're rejected by, you know, the black woman, child, I can only imagine what they be cutting up and nutting up when it comes to their preference. Okay, let's get into a few of these comments. Um, prayers to the family, but I think we all agree to sit this one out. Yes, that's right there at the top on mine. Well, everyone has a fate and this wasn't a black girl's fault. Ooh, and they did a quotation because he, you know, okay, uh, the, from his tweets. Yeah, no, sorry for your loss though. Mm -hmm. Let this be proof that when you come together, we make an impact. We refuse to get involved now. They can't do it without us. No thanks, I'm still out. He didn't need us then, he doesn't need us now. Ooh, okay, still didn't have anything to do with us. Ask them people, ooh, ask them other people for help. Which community? Cause the one I'm part of gonna sit this one out. Prayers to the family though. This ain't our fight. Better round up the, <laughs> the whites he loves so much. Go ask the white community child. Well, it's above us now. So this, so yeah, that common thread, that common energy was going all the way through there, okay? Now, here's the thing. Here's my situation. Here's my thoughts on this. As I read everyone else's, there needs to be, a, you know, a thorough looking because the family is due their day in court they are due to make sure all the investigation is done this is why we have a criminal justice system okay we need to be letting the criminal justice system doing their criminal justice and i do believe i said that um to angela rye yeah i didn't i i, I didn't skip over that on purpose angela rye said listen tweets on a death sentence get this family justice Yes, if there's justice to be had, that is what the Justice Department is for. Do you hear what I'm saying? Ooh, people are still making comments. Yes, this, that is exactly what the justice, the, uh, of the criminal justice is there for, Angela. That does not mean that the black woman pulls out her cape to make sure the justice system is justicing, okay? to make sure the justice system is systeming. No, that is not the black woman's um, uh, call to action on this, okay? As you can see, um, even in the comments, there are some hits and misses regarding people are um, agreeing with Angela. And there are some people who do not agree with Angela uh, about this. Um, you, you know, hey, justice, needs to be handed down if that's where the evidence leads to if that's where the evidence leads to then that's that however if the evidence leads down to something else then uh that then 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 it will however um yeah there's no need for you know the black woman to be pulled into this and here's the thing, I'm actually offended. I'm actually offended because why are automatically, you know, the black women are, are, are on the call to action? Where are the black men at? The black men always say that nobody let them lead. The black woman won't let them lead. How about the black men round themselves out up and walk to the, uh, you know, the uh, Miami Day Police Department or whenever down there to apply the pressure. How about the co the collective of black men who say, oh, the community needs, needs to come together regarding this. How about you take your asses down there and do it yourself? Why are you mad that the black women are finally worrying about their own black business? and let the justice system system, okay? Let the justice system do their systeming, okay? That's the reason why that is there, right? Right. So, um, hopefully, hopefully, that there would be some type of justice when it comes to this situation, right? Right. 
Now, there is um, a situation that um, we all need to be concerned about. And the situation is we need for black women to stay on code. We need black women to understand this is not the time for you to fold in half. Okay. This is not the time. Yeah. Now staying on code means a lot of things. You are going to have, of course, your mules. You're going to have uh, your mammies. And I'm going to say mammy, mammy, mammy a few times. And the reason why I am because it was actually hilarious that uh, um, um, there. here's the thing. Um, what you're not going to do is regulate what black women uh, apply to black male worshipers. This is what we're not going to do. We're, we, as you can tell... Black women could give zero fucks about hurting the feelings of black men and their black male worshipers, okay? And that's what we're not gonna do. We will be calling these women mammies and mules until we just don't feel like it no more. How about that? Cause you know, I had to be in certain uh, areas of YouTube and the crying is so heavy. Whenever the black men feels that the blind followers of theirs is being attacked, even though they could give two shits about those black women, okay? Even though they can give two shits about those black women, okay? Now, we are going to do um, a history lesson, okay? We're gonna do a quick history lesson. What is the meaning of the word mammy? The original meaning of the word mammy is child's word for mother, 1950s. Derivative of ma'am, see, mama. Meaning, black woman having to care for white children, which often continued to call her mammy after they were grown. Okay? Now, now, a mammy in a U.S. historical stereotype depleting black woman who worked in a white family and nursed the family's children. A fictionized mammy character is often visualized as a large-sized, dark-skinned woman with a motherly personality. I just can't stand those stereotypes. But... That is the original, original <laughs> of Mammy. A motherly type personality. That was as what we call the nanny of white children. The maid of the family. But she was extremely motherly. Now... We're in, uh, you know, the 20, you know, 2022 now. Let's, let's go ahead and say we are in 2022. And the black community has put Mammy as a motherly black woman to a black man. We have taken the Mammy out of that white family and placed her with her son or somebody who looks like her son. And that motherly instinct kicks into a fault. That motherly instinct kicks in to where it doesn't matter if she sees that black man, 
shooting up the whole neighborhood. She is going to make whatever excuse that she has to not make it his fault. Because she wants to be mothering. She wants to be nurturing. She wants to be all of that that the mammy was to those white children. Everything that that mammy was to the white children why would it not spill over to her own children, to her own black sons, to her own black daughters? Usually the sons get all that white mammying from their mother. Do you understand? There's a lot of black men who don't understand how that is easily translated to the bullshit that we see now that black women putting on that cape, getting their mammy on, being overly mothery. Oh, y'all leave him alone. Leave that black man alone. Society did him so bad. That's the bullshit we're talking about. It's not that far apart as of the mammy being motherly to those white children. And of course, it's going to bring it over that same mothering that's still coddling to her black son. What part of that is so hard to understand, black man? So until the end of time, we will continue to call it exactly what it is. A mammy to the black man. And there's one thing that I'm very proud of, and I believe I'm hoping that I... Uh, 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 explained it here that I'm so happy that so far the black women as a collective, at least on the social media, is staying on code, who is understanding that you will not be disrespected any longer. You disrespecting the black woman, even in death, we're going to make sure you're going to keep the same energy. Because looking at that whole, si whole situation, honey, if the black woman was in danger, he wouldn't even try to lift the finger to help because he's want to make sure his preference is okay. So let's keep the same energy like Toby was alive. Okay, black woman? Let's help him keep the energy that he was giving when he was alive. The family will have to go to the justice system by themselves with maybe a few black men maybe with a few mammies and mules to make sure the justice system is systeming. <clears throat> and that's what they are for. <sighs> well, I'm going to go ahead and end this live with this uh, TikTok video that I thought was um, hit the nail right on the head type of message that I have been seeing going around on YouTube and I was like oh okay okay yeah I'm feeling all of that and for some reason obviously the person who did this TikTok was all about um um listening to what black women have been saying obviously for uh, him to know uh yeah that's what we said Let's go ahead and play that as our outro. I don't give a damn how nobody feel about it and I don't wish harm on nobody. I don't wish imprisonment on nobody. I don't wish anything bad on nobody, but you don't get the option to disrespect women and disrespect black women. And then when something happens to you, then you need them to go to rally for you and you need them to go to war for you and you want them to hit the media and you want them to hit the news and you want viral tweets and you want them to go all out, but you disrespected them and said what they wasn't and said what they don't look like and said what they don't have and say how you don't like their hair and you don't like their skin complexion, you don't like their bodies and they don't them out to do this and they can't do this and they can't operate this way and you disrespect them and you say how disgusting they are and as soon as something happened as soon as you down in your luck as soon as you need some money as soon as you need some shelter as soon as you need somebody to go to war for you as soon as you need somebody to stand up for you as soon as you need a rider as soon as you need somebody to hit the media then conveniently you want black women to ride for you then conveniently you want women to ride for you but when you was on this earth when you was walking on this earth when you was on this land when you was free you didn't have their back it don't work like that 
Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and roll that back. I don't give a damn time. how nobody feel about it, and I don't wish harm on nobody. I don't wish imprisonment on nobody. I don't wish anything bad on nobody, but you don't get the option to disrespect women and disrespect black women, and then when something happens to you, uh -huh. then you need them to go to rally for you, and you wow. need them to go to war for you, and you want them to hit the media, and you want them to hit the news, and you want mm -hmm. viral tweets, and you want them to go all out, but you're disrespecting them and say what they wasn't, and say what they don't look like, and say what they don't have, and say how you don't body. like their hair, you and you don't body. like their skin complexion you don't like their bodies and they don't amount to do this and they can't do this and they can't operate this way and you disrespect them and you say how disgusting they are and as soon as something happened as soon as you down in your luck as soon as you need some money as soon as you need some shelter as soon as you need somebody to go to war for you as soon as you need somebody to stand up for you as soon as you need a rider as soon as you need somebody to hit the media then conveniently you want black women to ride for you then conveniently you want women to ride for you but when you was on this earth when you was walking on this earth when you was on this land okay. when you was free you didn't have their back it don't work like that.